Hello everyone, welcome back to Some Decidedly Neapolitan. This is Pixel Riffs, and I've been using BRAN's Hunter's Hovel uh, by Zero Zero, or Zer Zero, however you want to say that. Um, currently in use, actually, this is not currently in use by BRAN. I might change this up. Um, I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, currently in use by Pixel Riffs. There we go. <laughs> if my voice is a little bit husky this morning, it's because I went out with some friends last night, and that is all I'm going to say about that. So, today I thought I would check out a couple of the mods on DN, and there are a lot to explore. This is how far I've got with the base. I've been putting off working on this anymore, to be honest, because I wanted to explore some of the mods before I went any further, because there are definitely some things that we could use to spruce up this area, but this is what I'm calling the lily pad. And this is going to be my base of operations, and the this section here is going to be the vanilla kind of side of things, but with a couple of modifications, because there are definitely a couple of mods in this mod pack in particular, and in some mod packs generally, that have a little bit more of a vanilla feel to them. They're basically just there as aesthetic things to kind of enhance the vanilla experience more than completely modify it. And thinking specifically here about carpenter's blocks, um, I've made a couple of these already myself because I wanted to test out how they worked and it's so neat. Um, I actually quite like the way these blocks look anyway. They have a kind of scaffolding vibe to them um, and I kind of wanted to line the edge of the lily pad with these. But I'm told that what you can do is create a carpenter's hammer and you can change the shape of them, which has some very exciting prospects for what I want to do for the rest of this base, this area, and you know, for the future of building on this server. My plan, eventually, if I can pull it off, so this is subject to change, is to make this like a giant kind of water wheel that kind of comes out here, disappears underneath there. And obviously it's not going to be functional, and it's not necessarily going to be able to rotate or anything, but I thought with this uh, gap in the waterfall that I decided to create here, that would look kind of cool. So <laughs> we're going to see how well I can pull that off. Um, but right, the first thing I need to do is get some iron. Where did I put the iron? There is one iron here. So, oh good, we do have some ore. Okay, so we can smelt up some of this. I haven't really set up a furnace or anything yet over here. I do have a furnace kind of over there underneath that giant mushroom where I started out. <laughs> yes, I'm moving away from mushrooms, as you may gather from this series. They're wonderful things, but they're not going to be my jam forever. And if you've been keeping up with the rest of the videos on my channel or on the other decidedly vanilla members' channels, you know that... We have pretty much abandoned the current DV server because the Captain Hop situation was getting out of hand. Um, I'll talk more about that in my single player vanilla series because I plan on doing a bit of exploration in that. But uh, yeah, so for now we are moving on from our current situation on DV and that means I am moving away from building stuff with mushrooms. Um, I didn't want to become like a one trick pony when it came to that kind of stuff. So can I put, I can't put iron ingots on here, okay, probably iron blocks would work. Um, yeah, so we've got three iron, we need to make a carpenter's hammer, and I think the crafting recipe goes something like this, or like this, it's a shape recipe, so uh, I may have to look up how this goes. It's not like that. There is another hammer which I'm going to need for um, industrial craft, I think, which kind of has a like a sideways helmet shape. Um, how about... that's an axe. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be fun. Okay, so I looked it up on the NEI interface and I worked out where I was going wrong. You need carpenter's blocks to make a carpenter's hammer, which, you know, makes sense. So let's start out with a couple of those and do it like that. Fantastic. So this is the first modded tool I've ever used. And look, look at that. Oh my word, the shapes, the shapes, the chaos. That is incredible. And it just cycles through them until... There's so many, too. Oh, my word. Gosh, this has all kinds of possibilities. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be experimenting a lot with this. Let's take these away from the side of here for now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of stuff we can do with that. Um, we've got a little bit more iron here now, haven't we? So the other thing I'm going to make while I've got this iron ready is the hammer I was talking about. This is 
a forge hammer. Uh, it's from Industrial Craft, and I'm going to be exploring Industrial Craft after I've tinkered around with <laughs> tinkered with carpenter's blocks. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how these work out. Okay, right, I'm going to pop away for a couple of seconds, and I will come back to you when I've built a little bit more around the outside of here. Okay, so I've <laughs> done virtually nothing, but I have just made an incredible discovery. If you shift and then you scroll with your mouse wheel it actually changes the shape of it in your inventory so there's no need to use that hammer unless you're hammering down some stuff. The prism wedge slopes I think look kind of cool so I'm going to go with a couple of those and maybe a wedge slope in there to change it up a little bit and then I'm going to coat these with oak leaves <laughs> and that's kind of a strange look but I want this whole platform to have a more organic feel and I'm going to be working on how that can be achieved with uh, all of this cobblestone shortly um, but I definitely wanted to have a solid looking foundation so this is what we're going with for now it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this progresses um, I'm going to nip back to the hunter's hovel because it's night time and the next thing actually no I'm not going to do that I can build myself a bed now I've actually been putting off building a bed for a little while um, I've got my three wool here but because I can now make a carpenter's bed because I'm on camera with you guys let's pop one of those down and this is going to be very cool because everyone always says that you should be able to customize the color of your sheets based on the color of wool you use in vanilla minecraft and I have a leafy bed now. <laughs> it's not the colour of the sheet so much as it is the colour of the bed frame itself and I'm on a bed of leaves. Um, I don't know if I can actually change the colour of the sheets. Can I do that? Is that something I can do? Can I do that with the carpenter's hammer maybe? Oh I can! Oh that's cool. That's less cool. Okay <laughs> let's check out some of these. There's a ton of them. <laughs> that's a little bit like frozen um yeah no that's cool i like that i kind of like the fact that the bed is themed around the the leaves now wow okay interesting i shall sleep on a bed of leaves like some kind of weird elf i think we're going to go with something like this for the this is like the back exit or entrance whichever you prefer um and i might put a little chain of lily pads going up here just so it's slightly easier to get in through this entrance but eventually I'm going to build out another module onto this anyway and that section is going to be heading out towards I don't know Thorncraft or Tinker's Construct or something like that so yeah this is this is fun I'm I'm doing a little bit more of this now but I do need to make myself some more slopes okay before we go any further I decided I would make myself a chisel and we can do something about this cobblestone floor now to use a chisel you actually have to right click I've been tinkering with this a little bit and you can't carve any cobblestone slabs which is interesting but cobblestone blocks there are all these variations for and these look really neat there's some detail you can put into them there's tiling and French cobblestone tiles very fancy and the damaged cobblestone tiles I think Jefferson already used some of those to kind of show a path for to his base from spawn or some somewhere like that I think um, see what else we've got here can we do anything with wood blocks those look kind of neat as well and these look kind of a little bit like crates which is kind of fun um, okay yeah I'm gonna dig up a bunch of this floor it's currently mainly slabs but I can change it out for blocks because the stairs won't or will conceal the uh, the inside part of this so let's see what we can manage shall we we'll chisel this and I assume once I've got a bunch of these I can't make slabs out of that pattern can I can I do that no I can't okay so it pretty much has to stay as a full block but that's fine that's fine I think we can work with this pretty well um, let's try some of those out for size now those are looking kind of cool it's nice to have a bit of a variation in texture but they've kept that kind of slightly grungy cobblestone feel to them I'm gonna lose a ton of slabs underneath here so better be careful where I dig those out but yeah now that that is looking quite nice um i wonder if we can do anything about putting in like a bit of a mossy vibe to it because i want this to look a little bit leafy and organic still so maybe we can make ourselves some mossy cobblestone do i have any vines can you even do that in this version of minecraft i'm not wholly sure um can I do it now that the cobblestone texture has changed? Probably not. Okay. Well, let's change this back to standard cobblestone if we can. Using this 
fantastic. Uh, and that actually changes the block itself, doesn't it? You can't make mossy cobblestone. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna gonna, gonna go and have to find some mossy stone brick or potentially some sort of dungeon if I want mossy stone. All right. All right. Okay, we can we can work with that then. We can we can do something about that. I have kind of backed myself into a corner over here. <laughs> Come out. Um like that and like this. I think that joins it up. Good. Okay. Right, we'll stick with this brick pattern for now then because that actually looks kind of cool. I think I'm on board with that for now. Um, let's take a look at maybe some, oh, there's creeper tiles, those sound interesting, what do those look like? Uh, actually, I don't like those so much, they're kind of, they're fantasy style, they might be used better for, like, dungeons and so forth, but, yeah, not really floating my boat right now, let's pop a leaf block in here so I can get back up. Okay, uh, so let's just stick with the brick pattern we have there, aligned, detailed, let's try some detailed ones, let's see if they're any different. Are those the ones we already have? No. Oh, these are detailed. Okay, cool. <laughs> that's that's what we were already working with. Okay, now we're making some progress. I've decided to go with a mix of the cobblestone slabs and these detailed cobblestone bricks. I think it's kind of fun to have it mixed up a little bit. Definitely makes it feel like a, a kind of dungeon floor or something like that, but I think that's kind of cool. I think that's a look I can work with for now. If I break that one out... Okay, the bed doesn't go anywhere. That's handy. Okay, so we'll pop some of those in, and this is looking, it's, it's taking on a little bit of character. I was always a little bit sceptical about these kind of block modifying things, because I'm such a fan of the vanilla texture set anyway, but I think I can be swayed by this. This is looking pretty neat right now. I don't know if any of these are, I can potentially take out one there, but this is going to be the space for the water wheel anyway, so we won't really need any different textures for now. Okay. Already this is looking kind of cool. I still just love the bedspread so much. I think that looks like a really neat design. Um, I would actually have that on my own sheets. Otherwise, it, it, if, I, if I could. But I think my wife might potentially object to that. You never know. She's a bit of a nerd as well. But uh, not so much for the Minecraft side of things. Okay, so this is looking quite neat. Um, let's make some more carpenter's slopes while we can. I think for that... Um, you just need a couple of carpenter's blocks arranged in a kind of left angle, I guess, or a right angle, or whatever you want to call it, around there. But I need some more carpenter's blocks before I can do that. So to make one of these, you just pop a square of sticks around a single block of wood planks. And then, oh, I need some more sticks for that as well. Um, let's pop those down there. And then like that. That's how you make one of the slopes. So that gives you plenty to work with, it looks like. Um, what do we need? We need an oblique exterior slope, like so. And oak leaves like that. Cool, okay. Yeah, that's looking quite neat. I'm, I'm quite liking that. I'll see if we can do anything about this side as well. Maybe make that look a little bit more random on the outside, just so it's kind of sticking out and is still kind of bushy. But yeah, we'll be decorating this area with leaves and bushes um, and just making it feel a little bit more organic. So with the sun setting, I think it's probably time to call it a day from Decidedly Neapolitan. So thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, please leave a like if you liked it. I'm definitely going to be exploring a lot more of this modded content in the near future, and I'll probably look at one of the more in-depth mods like Industrial Craft or Tinkers next time around. So stay tuned for that. I'll hopefully be making these videos on a weekly basis. Um, but yeah, uh, leave a look. Uh, a comment if you have anything specific you want me to check out next because um, otherwise I'll just head off and do my own thing but uh, it's time to get some sleep so see you guys soon bye for now